Hey vamps, it's Xander, and today I'm going to show you how to get the most use out of your Obsessive Compulsive Cosmetics Lip Tars. So, in case you don't know, Obsessive Compulsive Cosmetics is also called OCC, and Lip Tars are one of my favorite products. Here, let me zoom out a little bit. There you go. So, um, lip tars are one of my favorite products and I don't want to like talk your ear off or anything and so you're like, Xander, just shut up and get to the tutorial. Okay, it's getting there, okay? But, um, yeah, so these are one of my favorite products and I feel like, like, not enough people try them because, um, well, I know like one reason is that when Sephora had these, for some reason, like the oil was separated in here, but like I only got like a few of them that did that and I returned them and like I got more and they were fine. Um, but they're, they're, they're great. Like, um, I feel like the other reason that people generally don't pick those up when they go to the makeup store is because, um, they are in a tube like it's not there's no doe foot applicator there's no lip gloss tube there's no like liquid lipstick like Anastasia Beverly Hills Jeffree Star or like any of those companies like they they don't package it that way and I like that because this is super sanitary like if I'm doing clients like there is zero bacteria transfer with these like I don't have to worry about it whatsoever I just need to use a makeup palette and clean brushes and I'm good to go but um yeah I feel like that's like one of the reasons why people are a little bit intimidated by them and um or like the melted villains they have the little like sponge thing at the end but these are like honestly a great product um so they come in three different types there is metallic like the the main one i used today which was techno pagan is a metallic um this is a matte and i believe this is the older packaging um the new packaging this is pool boy um which i will use as well in this video and um this is narcissist and this is the newer packaging and this is the older packaging so i believe that narcissist is a matte shade but there is matte metallic and there is glosses i do not own any occ glosses i am very partial to buxom um and yeah, so I don't have any of those, but I do have a ton of the metallics and the matte ones, and I love them. And one thing I like about the mattes is that, I mean, they take a little bit longer to dry, which I actually appreciate because you can perfectly ombre your lip out, and they just melt so beautifully together, and they don't dry right away. Like, I would say these are a closer consistency to the um, Too Faced Melted um, lipsticks, not like Anastasia Beverly Hills where they go very dry. Um, these don't really do that. They do go completely matte, but they are not like incredibly drying. Um, but yeah, so before I talk your ear off, OCC Lip Tars are one of my favorite products and I am now going to show you multiple different ways to use them. So stay tuned. Okay, vamps. So to start, what we're gonna do is take a lip a lip tar of your choosing and a cosmetic palette. If you don't have this, plates work fine as long as they're clean and you don't care about them. Next, I'm taking an e.l.f. small concealer brush um, and I'm just putting the lip tar onto my palette to work off of um, instead of putting it directly onto my lip. I prefer doing it that way because it's easier to manage and you really don't need that much product. So I usually start in the center of my bottom lip to kind of like make a meeting point for the sides to go to. And then in one fluid swipe, I will connect the sides to the middle part I just made. Next, what I'm doing right now is my cupid's bow. For my top lip, I always start with my cupid's bow. I overdraw my lip because I don't have a big top lip, but I have a very large bottom lip. Um, and if you overdraw your cupid's bow, it is just really noticeable that it's overdrawn and it just looks bad. Um, but if you use your cupid's bow as a meeting point and just make it go outwards and then you overdraw the sides, it looks a lot better. Now I'm just literally coloring my lips like a coloring book and this is all just that little dab I put on the palette. I am still working with that product. I did not add any more product to that. Um, this is still all of that product. If you mess up and it's like messy on the corners, don't worry about it. I'm gonna show you how to fix that later in this video, but for now we're just filling it in with the lip tar. And there you go. 
So there's the first coat and the rough outline of my lips before I clean it up later. Um, next, we're going to use OCC Lip Tar in the matte shade Cool Boy. And see how much product is left over from that little drop I put on there? I'm taking a new e.l.f. Cosmetics small concealer brush. Um, these things are amazing. They're a dollar and they are like the most universal brush. I have like 20 of them. Um, and they make amazing lip brushes. So I'm taking Pool Boy and I'm literally just making like a circle in the middle of my mouth. Um, and that's how I ombre my lips out. I literally like people ask me how I do it and they say it's beautiful and it like I have such skills with it and it's really not even that. It's just like making a circle and then making the M sound like and that just melts the product straight together and it gives you the most beautiful ombre lip um, of your life and OCC lip tars are just so amazing and they melt right together. Next I'm taking OCC lip tar in Narcissist in a Tarte stippling brush and I'm just putting Narcissist on my palette and I'm very lightly just stippling it onto my cheekbones. Um, you don't have to use that much product, you can actually use quite a lot less of product than that. Next I'm taking a cosmetic sponge. Um, this one I got at a store called Five Below and it's just a really cheap cosmetic sponge but what I like about it is it's very hard. It's actually like too hard to be blending out your foundation with but for blending out like a very pigmented blusher it does a very good job at it. So I just blend that up my cheekbones and it looks a little scary right now but we're gonna set it with a MAC 150 brush and I'm using light Cara Blend powder from MAC and I'm just setting it um, and I'm just working that straight into the Narcissus Lip Tar to create a nice contoured blusher look. This is personally too much blush for me to be wearing every day. I'll do this when I do drag, but I know girls that they love this amount of blusher and it's a really good way to get a lot of color with not a lot of product and without looking very powdery. Um, the other benefit of putting the powder over it is it looks more natural. Like it looks like your cheeks are rosy and it's poking through your skin tone instead of sitting on top of it, um, if that makes any sense. So next I am taking a Ben Nye brush. It is an RS1 brush and it's just a small eyeliner brush and I am just doing some winged eyeliner. If you want to know how I do my winged eyeliner, to be honest, I was a little bit messy filming this video doing this, but if you want to learn how to do winged eyeliner, I do have a video how to do winged eyeliner in five easy steps. Now I have an open eye shape, so my eye, when I open my eyes, the lid doesn't go past my um, eye socket. So I don't get any transfer onto my upper eyelid when I do this with lip tar, but they are creamy and they don't, like, it's not going to completely set on your eye. So if you don't have an open eye shape, you might want to put some, like, translucent powder into this or you might want to mix, like, a waterproofing agent, like a locked and coated from Bare Minerals is a really good one to make it set. Um, I don't really need to do that because of my eye shape, so I just went straight in with the lip tar. Now I'm taking Techno Pagan. I still haven't added any more product. This is still the initial small little dot of product I put onto my palette. If this doesn't show you how a little bit goes a long way, I don't know what will, but I'm just filling in my eyebrows. Um, if you want to know kind of how I fill in my eyebrows, I'll make a video on exactly like step by step, not sped up how I do it. But if you watch my everyday foundation routine, you can kind of see how I do it. So I do have Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in Soft Brown in my eyebrows, and I'm just kind of using that as an outline to fill them in with an e.l.f. Um, angled brush. Now I'm going to show you how to clean up your lips if you mess it up. This is one of my holy grail magic products. So I'm just taking a flat brush. You can take a concealer brush. You can take another one of those e.l.f. brushes if you want. They're a dollar by like 20 of them. Um, and I'm taking MAC Prep and, Pri Prep and Prime BB Cream in the compact. And the color is Light Plus. Um, now what I'm doing is I'm just running it on the outside of my mouth. I'm cleaning up the corners of my lip tar. Um, this will double as like making my lips look bold um, and helping conceal around my lips. 
this stuff is literally like a magic eraser for a lipstick and eyeliner. If you do winged eyeliner and you're not very good at it and you want to just clean it up really easily, a little of this product goes a very long way. Um, I'm using it to clean up my lips and it will literally remove any lipstick you swipe it over. Now, if you get a little bit of lipstick on your brush and it doesn't completely wipe it off and it kind of goes onto your brush, just either wipe your brush onto the back of your hand or your palette and get more product. Don't double dip that lipstick into the compact and mix it into it. Now I'm just taking my finger and blending it out real quick. Um, no need to use a brush for that little small step. And then I'm just taking my MAC light uh, Caraband powder again. And I'm just taking, that's actually a Bare Minerals blending brush, but you can use like any fluffy brush you want to set that. Um, you just need to put a powder over it. You can use a translucent powder if you would like. I just like using the corresponding tone to the rest of my face to set it and so it doesn't go anywhere and it doesn't look greasy or like overly dewy or wet. This product is a little bit greasy. I would not recommend it for an all over color like a foundation, but it's really good to clean up with. And there we go. There's our completed look. I hope you like. We did an ombre lip, some winged eyeliner, blush, and we filled in our eyebrows for it. So now you know all the ways you can use lip tar. <coughs> Hey vamps again, and I hope you liked this video. A little fun fact, this video actually took me three different times to make because the first time um, I was like still getting used to seeing myself in like the little pop-out camera thing on my camera and um, I was using a mirror and I realized that like half the video the mirror was in the camera and you couldn't see my face or like what I was doing especially like doing my lips and like things weren't it was a mess like so the second time I refilmed it and it was perfect and it was exactly how I wanted the video and I was just stupid and I had my external hard drive plugged into my computer. Um, I was ready to edit the video. My camera has a USB cord that hooks in, like is attached to the camera and then you can like unplug it from this little pouch thing and then it goes into the computer. So I had both of them plugged in and I didn't even think that like the camera is going to show up as like an external hard drive on my desktop and I was like looking in the external hard drive to see what I had in there and I was like what are all these random files like and it turns out that it um so I deleted them and I put them in the trash and then I deleted the trash and I was really dumb and it was not the external hard drive it was the camera so I completely wiped all the footage off the camera and I was pissed so this is the third time I have filmed this video so I really hope you like it and I really hope you give it a thumbs thumbs up and I hope you comment down below and subscribe and become part of the vampire realm. I don't know, like, what should I call people? I have this thing where, like, you know, with the whole, like, gender neutral thing, I don't want to say, hey, guys, because I'm afraid I'm going to, like, offend people, and I used to say that, but what do you think I should call people, like, of the internet? Should I just, people of the internet? Hi, people of the internet. Um, so I hope you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Um, it really helps me out, and if you want to share the video too, that would be super special, um, and I would love that very much. So, um, until next time, I hope you loved this video. I will leave all my social media links down below. Everything is Xander with an X, like Alexander underscore vamp like vampire so xander underscore vamp that is everything i have you can find me under that so that's my instagram twitter facebook you name it my youtube channel um i love you all and i hope you i hope you had a refreshing break from watching people do neutral smoky eyes and a nude lip um i want to make more creative fun looks and have it on the internet so if people want an option, they have it. Until next time, love you all.